so I'm back with Gemini Sun, with Mars and Cancer, and with this placement, you can be very passionate, very, very passionate, very driven, but at the same time, you can be immature when it comes to displaying your emotions, and even where you want to be, where you exactly want to be, because... You're in your head, but then you're trying to operate off of your emotions. You're in your head, but then you're trying to operate off of your emotions. And a lot of times, you know, your family, your family or the person that you care for could be some of the biggest limitations in your life. Okay. You got to learn to care for these people and show up, but not at the expense of what you can have as well. All right. Um, another thing that I want to point out, sometimes we, we know that cancer is forward moving. We know that cancers are progressive and, and emotional. But the thing about it is, is that with displacement, it's easy to get out of control where your emotions and let your emotions take control. And it's easy to really show up in an immature way when dealing with your emotions. Like I said before, because you got to see the two signs that we're talking about here. And we're talking about Gemini and we're talking about Cancer. Okay? So you can easily get offended by somebody and literally, you know, show it with your emotions in a little tantrum or meltdown. And... Convince yourself of all the reasons why you cannot achieve something or pursue something or go after something or advance in something. Okay? Because remember, you are mentally, you're thinking mentally, but you're trying to act in, with your emotions. Mars and Cancer is known to be debilitated because Mars wants to be about fire and just charging ahead and cancer cancer is passionate it can charge ahead but see cancer is just more sensitive about its approach so it's easy for you to have hurt feelings or you know be kind of sensitive i want to say sensitive when someone may criticize what you do or may seem judgmental of your behavior it's easy for you to feel, you know, to, to draw back and go into your shell and not really want to come out and and finish what you start. It could be a very hard time with displacement for you guys to finish what you start because you have the desire, but it's more of in your head. It's more of in your head. Now, expression, Self-expression could be much easier for you guys. Self-expression could be much easier for you guys um, than actual work. Um, and, and it's not, it's nothing wrong with that. Like I'm talking like actual physical work and, 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 and accomplishing something. You can, now when you do accomplish something, you can be highly successful, highly successful. I want you to know. But when you are operating in the energy, when you're letting the energy control you, what will happen is, it's, you're not, you just, you got to not let the energy control you. You have to be grounded or find the things that grounds you within yourself. Even if you got to do something where you make a little schedule and you say to yourself, okay, so I'm not going to just try to dive in and hit the gas button, you know, I'm going to actually take the time, get myself organized, you know, write out a little schedule or plan and every day just kind of make sure I'm, or every other day, whatever days you set up on, you organize it, organize it, you organize yourself that way that you want to organize yourself and just it, go by that schedule as much as possible or practice it sometimes. Because when it comes to manifesting stuff, materializing stuff in the world, it just can be a little bit harder for you to put yourself in a position to do so. You know, you could get it could get lost in translation. It could get lost in translation. 
And you, so you do need, you need like, like I said, either you could be able to ground yourself or you need a partner that's able to really ground you. Because what will happen is you will see or you allow yourself to build, okay, to build, to add on, to manifest things in a physical, especially financially. You guys could be really good at getting this accomplished and very successful if you can just ground in your thoughts and emotions. Because a lot of times when we act off of our emotions, it doesn't make it right. Now, the thing about it is the sensitivity that you have is appreciated by others. Very appreciated. You can give and give and give and give to your family, the people you care for, to the point of where you they can it can seem as almost like they're using you. The thing about it is a lot of times you guys will see it as, you know, you're doing what you need to do. And a lot of y'all don't really have a problem with saying anything, like if you feel like it goes too far. But you just want to show, you just want to see that you're cared for in return. And you can be attracted to people that are sensitive to your needs and understanding of who you are. Because, yeah, sometimes when you try to explain yourself or when you're trying to, it's not really explain yourself. But when you want to show up like your true self and want to show up how you are, you know, you got those people that that questions it and gives you problems. But the people that care for you the most, you just got to remember this. The people that care for you the most is going to be there for you. Okay? So, this placement is okay. Like, I feel like this placement is a very creative placement and when and a go-getter. But you have the ideas. You have the thoughts in your head. And you know what you want to pursue. Sometimes just grounding it and making it happen. It's just what you got to work on. But you can be extremely successful and innovative in ways that other people can only dream of doing. Like, only dream of doing and making it come true. And your approach is your just, you know, passionate desire to want to win. So just enjoy the process. All right. So this has been Gemini Sun with Mars and Cancer.